subscribers and new friends and new friends and newbies. We interrupt your normal scheduled programming for you love a good drum roll, don't you? <laughs> we paused for a Scobama seat swivel review and installation from the swivel shop. From the swivel shop. You didn't interrupt me. Sorry. I, that was my part. Okay, you do it again. From the swivel shop. Swivel shop. <laughs> <laughs> Where they sell swivels. Mm, that's what you wanted to say. Yeah. Before we get any farther. Before we get any farther. Oh, you <laughs> jerk. The links to all Scopama swivels are in the description below, and not just for the Ford Transit. For all your van models. And this video will be split into two main parts. The review and the installation. For real though, you can't review something very well until you install it. If it's still in the box, it's not a great review. So here are the timestamps for both of those things. But first, let's head to the installation. All right, first thing you're gonna wanna do is open the seat swivel package. You will quickly notice this package is extremely heavy. I guess it makes sense though, because it is just metal and more metal. That's right, you have the swivel itself and then just hardware that comes along with it. I stopped for a second after opening it just to think for a second. Yes, this is my thinking face. What will you need to install this seat swivel? First, you will need a socket set of sorts, a 13 millimeter wrench and socket, and a seven millimeter socket. You need a three by 16 Allen wrench, a hacksaw or a saw with some type of metal blade, a file, and Rust-Oleum paint. And that Allen wrench, if you wanted to, could be traded out for a star bit of sorts. Okay, first off, you're gonna need to take the chair off of its mount. This is where that Allen wrench will come into use. They put these things on nice and tight, which I guess I'm not mad about. And then you technically don't need to keep these bolts afterwards, but probably not a bad idea to just hang on to them. After you finish up that, you'll move the seat forward and do the same in the back, taking those bolts off as well. So far, pretty self-explanatory. After you finish taking those bolts off, don't just go ripping the chair off. There is an airbag sensor underneath that you need to disconnect as well. This is where that seven millimeter socket will come in handy. Once you disconnect that and the wire connection from the bottom of the seat, you should be able to take the chair off the mount now. You also need to take this carpet cover off. I kind of put it back on later, but it won't go on exactly the same way with your new swivel. You may or may not need to do this. I just was making sure my jack was securely fastened, which it wasn't. So now the fun part, installing your new Scopama seat swivel. Reading up on this a little bit, a lot of people had problems with the holes not lining up. We did not have that problem. We were able to set it down, thread the bolts in, and tighten them all up. Make sure to alternate when screwing it in to make sure it tightens equally. Now you get to put the seat back and fasten it to your swivel. This is where you take the included hardware. And if you notice here, I actually used an extra washer. It was just precautionary. The nut was slightly bigger than the hole it was going into, but not by a lot. So not totally necessary, but I would say recommended to use an extra washer on the top. Now just simply use that 13 millimeter socket and wrench to install the chair. You will need to rotate it slightly so you have room to tighten up the nuts and bolts. I will mention the washers that they do give you are a type of lock washer. Make sure the ridges on those washers are faced towards the bottom of the bolt. Once you're all done, or at least you feel like you're all done, you actually have to do something a little bit annoying. This is where that hacksaw comes into play. There's a seat belt strap on the back side of this passenger chair that you need to take off so the swivel can go 360 degrees. Otherwise, you make it about 30 degrees before it hits this and stops, which it's not what you really want. Because I don't bring all of my tools with me on the road, I give this part of the project like a five out of 10 on my craftsmanship. A jigsaw is not really the right tool for this. A sawzaw or a hacksaw would work way better and give you more of a flat cut. After taking this metal piece off, file it down and coat it with some Rust-Oleum to keep it from rusting. Once you finish that, plug the airbag detector back in and you're good to test out your new Scopama seat swivel. Ta-da, you're done. All right, time for- All righty then. All righty then, <laughs> okie dokie now. It's time for our review. It's probably hard to tell from the video, so how long did it actually take you to install? Ballpark. Ballpark. Two hours. It took two hours to install. Exactly two hours. <laughs> First commentary on our review, 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. 
those are a little bit generic when it comes to how to review a product. So we'll give you some actual specifics on how we really feel about the scope of a seat swivel. From the swivel shop? From the swivel shop, where they sell. My first thing to know about this product is that we wish we had this six months ago when we started van life. If you are in the process of building a van right now and you are debating putting a swivel in your... Do it. Put it in. Just go ahead. Click the link. I'm serious. I really don't think it's something you could regret. Like... Whoa. Having having a chair... Costs and... money, but yeah, you're not going to yeah. regret it after the fact. Anyways, another thing to note is how smooth it is. I was very... They should call it the scope, scope. Su smooth scopoma scope -ma seat swivel. That swivels. Quadruple alliteration. Should have. Missed opportunity. But I think what I personally love about this product is that sometimes you see seat swivels. Wow. And I feel like they're just too loose or too fast. This one has a really nice, just smooth glide to it. Agreed. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. Secondly, you can tell it's made with great quality. Yeah, that's, that, that, that one's pretty simple. Self-explanatory. It's not a piece of junk. You know, sometimes you get stuff and you're like, ooh, where did they make this? Where did this come from? This is a quality product. You can tell from the second you open it. And you kind of want something quality that's, you know, attached to the seat of your vehicle. So, yeah. Another thing is the height of the seat now. With some seat swivel installations, it can add quite a few inches, and so then you have one person down here and one person up here. We didn't necessarily want that, and... Why would you want that? I don't know. Something you want to sit higher than me. But this seat swivel only added... Well, I think he probably has the exact dimensions that we'll throw up, but it... You... Right there. Right there. It didn't add too much height, which is great for us. When doing a bit of research on the interweb... There are four seat swivels. There are four main seat swivels that you can get for these van conversions. Again, obviously, we went with the Scopema, and that was truly because we believed it was the best one. And this is where the con comes in, because there's got to be a negative in all this, and that is you pay for what you get. And so when you get a really, really great product, you're going to pay a little bit more. But in the grand screen... <laughs> grand screaming over here. I can't talk tonight. In the grand scheme of a van conversion, cost... $400 for a seat swivel is pfft, a pfft. pocket change. All right, that's about all we got on this review slash installation video. For real though, once again, really wish that we had this product six months ago when we started. So if you are thinking about it, think no further. <laughs> think no further because the link is in the description and it's a great product, highly recommend. And obviously you saw from the installation, it was not difficult to put in. And our reviews were two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, five stars. So go ahead and get yourself a super smooth Scopema seat swivel from the swivel shop where they sell swivels. Darn. Yes. <laughs> to that. All right. We know this video is a little bit different than what we normally put out. But when you get a new product in the van, you have to highlight it and show the installation process because we want to help you, help us, help you. Help you, help us, help you. Ask any questions you might have in the comments below. Hey, 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 that's my oh. part. Sorry. I'm the ask any question. Go ahead. Like Ben was saying, as always, feel free to ask us any questions. You can leave comments below and we'd be happy to answer them. Then do us a huge favor. Subscribe because... Help Helps you, you help us so help okay. you. <laughs> That's right. That's all we got. We're going to go swivel now. <sighs> I'm it's tired. not code for anything. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, we didn't actually end it. Oh. Look at it. Oh, I messed everything up forever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>